Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these fluid image cutouts directly in PowerPoint with PowerPoint shapes and the merge shape tool. So let's jump into it. So the first thing we'll do, as always, new blank presentation, right click, layout, blank. The first fluid image shape will be based on a triangle. So we'll click on triangle in the drawing section, click anywhere, and enlarge this triangle. Now we right click on the triangle and choose edit points. From here we can right click on each one of the squares and convert it to a smooth point. And from here it's just a case of grabbing these bezier handles and converting it to something you think looks good and if you wish to add a point, you can hold down the control key and click when you're on the line and the icon has turned in to this crosshairs with a small square in the middle. So I'll move over the line, it turns into the little crosshairs with the square in the middle. I'll hold down control, click, and now I've added a point. From here, the black handle will drag the point and the white bezier handles allow you to adjust the curves either side of the point. So it's just a case of getting something you think that looks good. I'll go with this. And now let's get the picture. So to save time, I'll just paste in the picture I had. These are all available. I'm going to insert and then choosing pictures and stock images and then typing the keyword of your choice and choosing the image. So if we go to the corner point and drag it in, we can make it smaller. And ideally we want to make it about the size the shape that we're going to cut it out from. So I'm going to go with that size, right click, center back, and you can see the area that we're going to get. This looks about right. So now we click on the image first, then the shape with shift click to select both of them. And then we go to shape format, merge shapes, and choose intersect, which is the fourth one down. So there's our fluid image cutout. For the second one, I started with an oval, so we can just click on oval and drag this out onto our canvas. Right click, choose edit points, and now we can adjust these as we wish. Again, if you want to put in any more points, you can go to where the icon changes, hold down the control key and click. And now we can drag in these points as needed. If you ever wish to delete any points, you can hold control as you go over the point and click will remove it. You can also always right click and choose smooth point if you wish to turn the point into a curve. So that's looking pretty good. I'll just paste in the image Use the corner points to resize it, drag it over the top, right click and center back. Now I'll make sure I've selected the image first, then shift select the shape, go to shape format, merge shapes and again intersect. Great. Now let's quickly create the panels that I had behind it and for those. I've used a rounded corner rectangle. But I wanted the corners to be slightly less rounded, so I'll click on this little yellow dot, pull this out to here. Now I'll right click on it, choose center back, and to get the color, I'll go to shape fill. I'm going to select a color from this image first. I'm gonna select no outline, and now I'm going to go to more fill colors and just pull up the lightness of this somewhat by dragging the slider straight up. It's about right. Great. Now I can click on this, press Ctrl D to duplicate, right click, center back, drag this to wherever I want it. And then I can click on this, go to the eyedropper tool, 
select this color and go to more fill colors and do the same thing. Just drag this up slightly to get a lighter color. I'll quickly paste in the text that I had and align this. That's looking good, but I want the whole thing to be a little bit smaller. So I can control A to select everything, control G, and then hold down shift and drag the corner handles in to make this smaller. That's about right. Now let's align it to the middle and the center. I'm just going to put a solid background, just a light gray color. Looking good. So there's a really quick way of breaking out of the traditional use of photos in a rectangular shape. And you can use any shape you like that looks good. And you can also copy and paste these shapes to keep them for future so you can cut them out exactly the same again. And now, just gonna quickly show you how you can add some animation to this. So we'll go onto the slide, press Ctrl D, and make sure that under transitions, we have morph turned on. Now we'll go to the first slide, we need to make sure these are both on groups. So I'll click on both of them and press shift control G. And now on the second slide, I can move this to wherever I want and rotate it as I want. And the same thing with this one. And then control D again, just to make a third part of the animation. Drag this to wherever you want. Rotate as needed. And pull the text into wherever you want. Now when you run from the beginning, it will animate nicely between the slides using the morph function. And you can use this for any animation you like. So by using edit points and merge shapes, we can create some more interesting looking ways of using photos. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.